Why am I standing on a roof in the middle of the Melbourne suburbs? It's because I found something that could be really good for off-grid living. This is the North Solar Evacuated Tube Water Heater that can heat water by itself with an efficiency of 94%. You can also team up smaller models like this with water jacket sleeve heaters for the flu of your fire, gas or electric. Let's go and have a chat to the guy behind these, find out a little bit about them, find out how you install them, and then talk to his plumber about how easy they are to set up. Andrew, you're the guy behind these systems. They seem to be too good to be true, 94% efficiency. Yes, Tim, the evacuated solar hot water systems have a range between 91 and 94% efficiency. And so they are so efficient that in summer they will actually boil. They're an incredible system. And these tubes, I mean, they're, they're glass. Are they strong enough to withstand things like hail and stuff like that? Um, they are rated for 25 mil hail, so effectively you can throw golf balls at it. Um, cricket balls might be a little bit more challenging, but generally it is very difficult to break the tubes. So in the, in the warehouse, when we need to get rid of some tubes, we need to bash them with a hammer, seriously. Now, the system itself, I saw you guys installing this today, and it seems to come in three main parts, doesn't it? You've got your tanks up here, you've got your evacuated tubes, and then you've got your frame. Correct. Everything seems to come pretty much set up, ready to assemble. You just have to call your plumber at the end, is that right? Absolutely. We've got assembly and installation instructions. Um, it took us probably about two years to simplify the system to make it easier to install and much quicker to install. Um, so plumbers, when they do the installations, they actually love doing the, these type of systems. It's plug and play. It is plug and play, and we also offer uh, all the additional accessories, so installation kits, anode rods, heating elements, um, and everything else relative to the, the tube system. This is a, what's called a header tank or a refiller tank. This will refill or fill the, the main tank of the solar hot water system, which acts as a heating medium. Um, the main tank, obviously, here. Um, they come in 100, 200, 300 litre varieties. And plumber's installation kit. So this ties everything together, so it makes it incredibly easy for the plumber to install. Evacuate the tubes harness the sun, and they have an efficiency of between 91 and 94%. So setting up the evacuated tubes to get, to get ready to install into the system is, is a piece of cake. We pull out our tube as such. We'll give it a little bit of lubricant on the end to put on a dust seal. The dust seal goes on. We pull it about 200 down and then we pre-fill it with water. The reason we pre-fill it with water is that these tubes are so efficient that if the sun is out, they'll be uh, up to 200 degrees internally if they haven't been pre-filled. And if you install them dry and pour cold water into the system, there's a high chance of thermal shock because of the temperature difference. We bring it over to our little system, align it with the internal seal, give it a little bit of a wiggle, feel it go in, then we put it into the tube saddle, screw the saddle in. So, a couple of quick tips. Um, when you're putting your tubes in, it is best to put the first and the last tube in, so one and ten in this instance, so you can make a perfect alignment of the tank before you tighten it up. And then you can tighten it up and put the rest of the tubes in. Another important tip is to also use your sacrificial anode rod and your sacrificial anode rod will stop the tank from, from excessive or from corrosion um, due to different factors, environmental, um, electrolysis. And this will sit inside the tube and will go inside the tank itself and it will protect the tank for many years. So these tubes are made out of a, a special uh, borax based glass, which is like Pyrex, it's extremely tough, uh, and they're designed to actually cope with uh, 25 mil hail. So effectively dropping golf balls onto it or golf ball size hail uh, will not damage it and will not crack it. Um, obviously if it's going to be a cricket ball, maybe, um, but normally they're very, very tough. These two fittings will actually uh, be uh, installed into a stove which can have the hot water heating up and it will thermosiphon in and around 
um, which means that you save a lot of energy. Um, if that's not an option for you, we also have facilities for uh, electric heating element, which will also assist in boosting um, if there is very cold weather or if, if it's a consistent uh, shady day or many shady days. As soon as the sun comes out, it can raise to 80, 90 degrees without a problem. Are oh, you riding that? I think I've got some unlagged ones. Everything's gonna be lagged. Really? Yep, everything. Oh, is that the new? Everything. Has to be. Now look at me. I believe you, it's just stupid. I know it's stupid. Like, what, what does that need to be lagged Even for? This has to be lagged. That. Now, Joel, you're the plumber here on site. Yep. And it's really important that people understand they can't DIY these installs, can they? No. They've got to get a plumber to plumb it up to the house. Yeah, that's correct. This is all certified, so certified through the BBA. So a licensed plumber has to do it. Yep. Um, the kits are made quite simple, so most plumbers will get it pretty good. Um, they, a very important thing is um, all the pipes have to be lagged, so this is halfway through the installation at the moment. Yep. Um, the lagging provides insulation purposes. And so by lagging we're loss. talking about this foam here. Yep, this foam stuff here, so it just allows it to um, keep the heat in, so it increases its efficiency. So besides the fact that it has to be installed by a plumber, because it's so simple, it's not going to take a lot of the plumber's time, so it shouldn't add too much to the cost of the install, should it? No, not at all. Most of the stuff is included with the kit, uh, apart from your basic pipe work, including copper, just depending on if you're installing it in a double storey or a single storey. But most of the time, it's pretty straightforward, um, and you'll get it done within an hour or two. So this could well be your next system if you're looking at going off-grid or you're living away from reliable sources of energy. Andrew, I'm going to put a link in the description if people want to get onto you and find out more about it. Besides having a shower and actually putting proof into the pudding, I think we've done all we can here today. I think that these systems are the way to go and, and they will change the future and save the environment as well. Mate, next time you've got a country install, I want to come out, I want to see it installed, and I want to have a shower. Nah, I look forward to it.